Espresso is the heart of coffee. 70% of the coffee drinks on the menu contain espresso. Either it's a cappuccino or a latte or iced latte or iced americano or a caramel latte or a Spanish latte. They all consist of espresso. Today I'll be sharing you the simple steps that you need to follow as a beginner barista so that you can dial in a good espresso. We'll be following the three simple steps. Our first step which will be our coffee in, the second step which will be our coffee out and the third step which will be our brewing time. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Dero the Barista. Today I'll be taking you through the process on how you can dial in an espresso as a beginner barista. We'll be following the three simple steps. We'll start with our first step, which is the amount of coffee in. We're going to need 20 grams of coffee in. Then our second step, the total brew coffee out, which is 30 grams of coffee out. And the third step, which is the total time of brew, which will be 28 seconds. So for today's espresso, we're going to use Brazil coffee. It's a medium roasted coffee. It has really matured to give the best cup of espresso. We're going to use a ratio of 1 to 1.5, meaning I'm going to need 20 grams of coffee, then extract 30 grams of coffee out on a total brew time of 28 seconds. To brew a good espresso, you'll need a pair of weighing scales. This will help you to keep the consistent while brewing your coffee and to know how you can adjust so that you can have a perfect cup. We're going to use the Akaya weighing scale. These are perfect, they are waterproof and they are really enough so that a pot filter can fit on top of it. So we'll start by weighing our pot filter. We'll just tell it so that it's zero so that when we grind our coffee we can have the, the correct measurements. So we grind our coffee. We're using a Brazil coffee, it's medium roasted. So we're going to grind 20 grams of coffee in. Don't really sure like it's 20 grams, so you can weigh it so that you can approve like it's 20 grams. If it's extra, you can use a spoon then remove a bit if it's less you can add on using your grinder so it's 20 grams of coffee then we will need to distribute our coffee so that we can create a flat bed using a distributor you just press it like this then twist it a bit as you can see we have created a flat bed we need to clean it then tamp it You just use a minimum force while tamping so that you can have a good compact bed. Always remember to pad your group head before extracting your espresso. This will help in the cleaning up of the group head before brewing your coffee. So we're going to need also a weighing scale to weigh our coffee out. We're going to need 30 grams of coffee out. If your weighing scale has a timer, it's perfect. If you don't have a timer, you can use a phone so that you can time yourself because we need 28 seconds out. So we also tally our weighing scale for the extraction, then we'll start. You start your timer immediately, you start the starting button. As you can see, our coffee, the grains were a bit fine. This led to a slow extraction. We had 30 grams of coffee out on 35 seconds. So to fix this, you need to go back to your grinder, then adjust it on the coarser side. On your grinder, it has two sides. It's indicated the fine side. It means the grains are going to be more small and the coarser it's going to increase on the size of your particles of grains so we can start by testing this one since it was very fine this led to 
a bitter cup of coffee. So we've adjusted our grinder, so we're going to try the same shot again. So on 30, we'll stop our brewing. This is our total extraction. As you can see, the creamer is there. It's really a well-balanced cup. We'll try it also. So this is a well-balanced cup. In case you haven't reached your desired test, you can add just on the grinder. It's a perfect cup. You can see the cream is there, the body, and it's also well balanced. You can have a good taste about it. If your coffee is flowing very slow, you need to adjust on your grinder. You can play with your grinder so that you can meet your perfect taste. Basically, this is the beginner knowledge that you need to make your first shot of espresso. I'll be making more videos on how you can adjust your espresso by toast. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up for me. For any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel.